Hi guys and girls. I know I had a big sleep in this morning so I didn't do my video earlier. Um, there's nothing. She seems busy, but there's actually nothing going on. Literally nothing going on. We are doing an eating tour of Cornwall. Mm, this is the entertainment that we should be all sending those big tips for. To watch a grown woman sit by a, I'm guessing, a pond, feeding seagulls, um, complaining that she only got the small, she's, she's being moderate, she only got the small cheesy pizza instead of a large cheesy pizza. A pizza designed for two or three. She got the pizza designed for one or two. Mm -hmm. um, how everything just sucks. It all just sucks. Everything sucks. She's not actually um, correct about the situation in the Middle East, the home that she so dearly loves. She, she wasn't even right about the fact that the airspace over her own new newly loved country was closed. She wasn't sure about that. She wasn't sure. Um, now, somebody said this the other day, and I agreed because we had a little discussion about it in the comment section. Well, I responded anyway. Um, I look like an old man with tufty sides. I really need to go get my undercut fixed up, but just ignore it. Don't look at it. Um, why is she not more distressed? about what's going over there. I know, I worry about my husband driving home after a 12 hour shift, because I'm worried about other sleepy drivers on the road and I worry about him too, because I know sometimes he just comes home and he's so dog tired. I worry about that. And that's, that's close to home and it's a regular occurrence. Now, if my husband was living in the part of the world where only a hop, skip it, a jump it away, there was direct actual military bullets flying around, bombings, things going off. I, I'd be a little bit stressed on the daily most of the time. But the fact that I can no longer just jump on a plane and get to my husband or and he can't get to me because of concerns about the airspace, people coming and going um, where, where he lives and being apart from him, I, I'd be a little bit upset probably a little bit teary a little bit stressed out um certainly not giggly probably probably the edibles are helping her be a bit giggly i just feel like her affectation's not quite there where you'd be concerned about concerned about your hubby and your home and your pets it's a little off don't you think or is that just me maybe i'm just a bit of a worry wart um but yeah so she's doing a driving tour of cornwall she's eating all the ice creams not, not even getting like a, I don't know, frozen, something a little bit, a, a sugary replacement, like a less sugary replacement, like a frozen yogurt or an all natural something. No, we're going for the full hard waffle cone scooped ice cream. I really think this was like a bingo tour. Like she wakes up, she rolls out of bed, I don't know, 11, 12 o'clock, one o'clock, who knows, whenever a mum digs her out of her bed rot sheets, Get, digs her out of bed and she's like, right, where do we start? Do I start with pizza or do I end the day with pizza? And what can I have for snacks? What do I feel like? Let, let my soul speak to me. What do I feel like today? We feel like ice cream. We feel like pizza. We feel like a full bag of Doritos. Maybe a poutine. Maybe a poutine to start. Yeah. Like she plans her meals out before she actually gets a day going. And that's because that's her day. That's her activity. That's something an inge eater would do. They think about the um, cycle of their meals, when they can have them, what time, in what order, how much, what we're gonna add on. It's all about the food all day long. And that's what a foodie basically did today. She was jazzed about, she's eaten a meal and she's got two more to go for the whole day. Woo, so exciting, so much to do, such a busy gal. Um, yeah, and she actually moved outside the, ha the car though. She got out in the actual real sunlight, touched her skin. I oh, know, I'm surprised she didn't burst into flames. But yes, now I do put out a call to Foodie. Foodie, we know you are the camel whisperer. Now I feel like, even though it's illegal, because we don't worry about illegal things, we are rule breakers, you and I, Foodie. We are the rule breakers. I feel like you could cross those whimsical, magical, camel whispering powers 
over to your homeland of Canada. I mean, you are Canadian. There's a synergy there with the kicking geese, right? I feel like if you waddled your way up to one of those geese, made hard, direct eye contact, and started going, hi, yay, yay, that goose would just, oh, just melt, just drop to the ground, and you could stroke its neck, touch its beak, get up under there and maybe fiddle with the eggs. I'm sure the geese would really appreciate your touch, your sound, your smell. I really think, feel like you might be that goose whisperer, but we won't know until you try. So I think maybe, maybe give it a go. Don't worry about it. Look, have a look out, get Pete's in on it. Get him to sit in the car. He can be the lookout. You can model yourself up, have a bit of a feel and then run away like lightning in case the coppers come. What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? You might get a little peck, a little peck on the beak. I mean, geese aren't notoriously known for being like guard animals or anything or being particularly aggressive. I mean, if you can take on a camel, surely you could take on a goose. I say do it. It'd be great content. It would be fantastic content. And I'd love to see it. Film it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. A double dog dare you. Woof. Woof. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. She's not doing much. There's not much to report on. All pretty stupid. She's just she's just a bored housewife with nothing to do. All right, well, today's a lazy day for me. I might do some editing for a stream later today or tomorrow. We got the Kmart live stream tomorrow for the members. That is all happening. Um doing some cooking today. Today's just a lazy day for me. Well, a lazy day for me is probably Chantal's he most hectic day ever. <laughs> yeah. Washing, cooking cleaning. I've already put the bins out. Yeah, a lazy day is me keeping my life rolling, basically. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you've planned to eat today as well, because that's what all normal people do. They get excited about what they're going to eat, if they haven't already prepped it and just pulled whatever out of the fridge. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.